Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. This video here I'll be doing a review and a breakdown on this HP desktop computer. All right, let me show you in the front here. So if you can see, uh, this is the front panel. Uh, there's a USB-C in the front, SD card memory slot. There are four USB ports in the front, a headphone jack, and this is the power button. In this computer, it does come with the uh, optical drive uh, as well. All right, so here's the side on on the desktop. So pretty much the side panel, there's only like uh, the vent air on the side panel. There's nothing much here. Let me flip it to the back and show it to you what is in the back. So here in the back on the very top left corner, you can see the speaker, right? The microphones, these are the audio jacks. You have the HDMI and VGA. So technically this computer allows you to have two monitor screen. Dual screen is possible on this computer. So one can go into the first HDMI, the second monitor can go into VGA. So this is your exhaust fan, it's coming off from the back. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see you have additional <coughs> four more USB ports in here. And this is the ethernet port where you can hardwire your internet into. If you move it down a little bit more, these are the slot for your PCIe. So there's nothing here, it's very standard computer. It doesn't have extra graphics card. And if you go a little bit down here, this is your power supply. So the power supply has its own fan. And this is a small power supply. It's not a full size, this is a smaller size. If I flip the computer to the other side of it, and here's the spec on the computer. And I want you I want you to uh, you know share this with you. So this run on an Intel i5 processor, which is the LGA uh, 1200 CPU, um, C I mean 1200 CPU uh, bracket, right? So this is the uh, Intel i5, the 10th generation processor. Uh, it comes with eight gigabytes RAM. This is a DDR3 RAM, oh, sorry, DDR4 RAM. I apologize for that, this is a DDR4. This has the M.2 solid state drive, 512 gigabytes. And it has the Intel UHD graphics. It has a DVD in the front. It has the Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth combo. All right, so this is a built-in Wi-Fi as well and runs on Windows 10. This is a home premium version. It's not a Windows S mode. This is the uh, Windows home premium. All right, let me take it apart and show you what you can upgrade and see what is inside the computer, okay? So there's one screw. Um, you can use the torque to remove it, but I'm using a, a flat head screwdriver. Uh, you know, as long as you can just unscrew, you can just open it up. So there's only one screw, the screw doesn't come out, you just unscrew it and then slide the panel to your right depending on how you look at things. Let me just put it uh, in the right position here so everybody in a, uh, is in the right order. Okay, so here's the front panel. As you can see, this is your front. It's silver in color, right? It's on my right side. So the screw is on the left. Once I unscrew it, I can slide the panel to my left. So once I slide it up, you can see what is internal in the computer. So right here is the exhaust fan and this is your CPU cooling fan. All right, it's very standard. There's nothing special about that. All right, let's go ahead and take this black piece out first. Okay, so this metal bracket has one screw that is holding it. Go ahead and remove that screw. When the screw is, is removed, you can lift it up and then it will just slide out from the bottom right here. Okay, simple as that. Now this is the slot for your additional hard drive. I'll make a separate video. Uh, please check out my separate video. I'll be installing a 3.5 inch hard drive and I'll show you step by step on how to do that. So check it out on a separate video. Uh, it will be somewhere, somewhere on the left here or the right here, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this. But before you can remove this, you actually need to push out your DVD drive. So you see this little uh, plastic here? You want to push it in. Oh, before you want to do that, disconnect the cable. 
So this is your power. Go ahead, disconnect the power. And this is the SATA cable. Go ahead and disconnect that. How to disconnect? I just pull to my left. Just pull it to your left, okay? There's no clip or anything. Just pull it to your left. It will just come out without any problem. Now here you want to push the optical drive. So push the clipper in. And as you push hard enough, you will slide out to the other right side. Okay, that's how you remove this optical drive. And once you remove the optical drive, the next thing you need to, need to do is to remove the front panel here. So there are three clipper, one, two, and the third one. So what you want to do is you want to open up a little bit, push it up, right? So push the clipper and push the other clipper. So once three clippers are open, and this front panel will just come out without any problem. There's no cable, no power, anything attached to it. All right, to remove this bracket, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove this screw. So this one screw is hidden um, underneath that front panel. So once the front panel is removed, this screw can come out without any problem, okay? You can get to the screw once the front panel is open and go ahead and open up this safety, not the safety pin, but uh, this, this bracket is holding onto the cable. Once the thing is open, you can lift up the mounting hard drive here. All right, so let me just give you a walkthrough real quick on this computer, at least you, you get to see what is internal on the computer and make a decision whether you wanna buy this computer or not, and if this is suitable for you, uh, things like that. But if you're watching the video so far, uh, I really appreciate for you supporting it. Can you please, you know, click the like button, uh, share this with your friends or your family, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to grow as I like to make more of this video for you. So remember, smash the like button, and I really appreciate you for doing that. All right, so let's come back to here. Let me walk you through. This is the four pin, you, um, four pin connector, and this is actually your power supply. So if Run it, it runs along here and then it goes to your power supply here at the bottom okay and then this is another four, four pin connector as well goes to the motherboard in other words this power supply here is proprietary to the HP it's very limited you do not see any additional power so as you can see there's no additional PCIe power coming from the power supply meaning that if you install a graphics card it cannot it, it, it has to be the low voltage uh, graphics card. It doesn't have the 6-pin connector or the 8-pin connector. So you cannot upgrade your graphics card here on this one. All right. And then um, here is your M.2 um, NVMe SSD. So this one is the 512 gigabyte hard drive. If you want to increase to a larger hard drive, uh, you can do that by you know upgrading to one terabyte or you know two terabyte as you like. So to remove it, it you just technically need a regular Phillips screw. Okay, just a regular Phillips screw. And there's one tiny little screw. And once you remove the tiny screw, you can slide open the M.2 um, SSD drive. So this is 512 uh, gigabyte with w Windows 10 on it. All right, and here you can see this is the uh, SATA uh, the power cable for your regular hard drive, the 2.5 inch or the 3.5 inch, and it's connected to this motherboard with this 4-pin connector right here. Okay. And this one right here is actually your optical drive power. It also connects to the motherboard directly. It doesn't come from the power supply. Right here is just, uh, this one right here is the optical drive cable that goes into the optical drive. This additional cable right here is actually for your hard drive. So if you want planning to install the hard drive for the secondary drive, uh, I'll make a separate video for that. Like I said, I'll promise you to do that. And this is what you're going to install with, okay? So in other words, remaining, you will have additional one more SATA cable um, for the third hard drive if you want. All right, so this computer here has two DDR4 RAM slot. So this is a eight gigs. You can add additional eight gigs of RAM, and that would be 16 gigs total for you. Okay, so this is your CPU fan. The heatsink is there. Uh, right here, you can see it's LGA1200. So this is the 10th generation of an Intel processor. 
All right, let me bring it closer to you here. If you take a look here, this is your motherboard um, model. So if you want to replace the motherboard, uh, you just have to replace the entire of that. And here, if you come closer look, this would be your power supply model number. Okay, so if you have a burnout power supply, you need to match the, uh, the model number and get a replacement for that. All right, so this is pretty much a very straightforward uh, desktop. It's a simple desktop. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it. Um, you know, there's not much of room for upgrade as well. But yeah, um, I hope this video helps you to determine whether you like the this computer for the purchase um, or maybe for an upgrade. Hopefully, something that you can learn of this video. So until next time, please take care and I'll see you soon.